I mean, it, how hard is that? That's, it's pretty, pretty simple. Um, something else I want to mention. Oh, yes. Uh, there's a website called uh, freesound.com. And if I got that wrong, send me an email and I'll get you the right one. That has almost 50,000 sound effects that are free to download. There is a sound editor that's free called Audacity that lets you edit all this stuff so that if you only want a piece of it or you want to make it louder or whatever, you can do all of that. Okay. What was your name in that again? Audacity, A U D A C. It's on the web. I think it's, I know it's on my web page, but again, okay. Here, I just wanted to mention a couple quick things. You can do this on board or track side. Is there any reason why you couldn't put that in an engine or in a boxcar and have it do all kind of weird noises? You have a circus? Go crazy. Okay. Um, station announcements. Easily uh, personalized things. Now, this is the other thing I want to mention, and maybe you didn't notice this. Let me turn this back up just for a second, because I, I took care to do this. Clear the area. Blasting in. Where's that coming seconds. from? Is it coming from here or there? Let me do it again. Clear the area. Blasting in ten seconds. Now. Fire in the hole. Now the explosion. Both. Could you put one speaker in one building, another speaker in another building, station, sheriff's office? You know, different sounds coming out of the different ones from one gizmo. And if you wanted something to sound like it was coming in the middle or a thunderstorm, you do it through stereo. So all I did was record on channel left here, channel right here, and stereo for the other one. And almost out of time. Let me. Okay, I talked about these, complete transmitter receiver, but again, it depends on what you get, 15 to 30 bucks, easily interfaced. Oh, I've got some custom things. I mentioned I did custom controllers. This controller is one I built for a fellow down in Texas. He had something similar to the crossing we were talking about, but he wanted the whole thing controlled. This watches for a train on the main line. When it comes, it stops a trolley that crosses it, turns on flashing lights, Excel, it does all the control of the trolley too, so it starts it up smoothly. When it stops it, it slows it down and all that sort of stuff. So that's a custom board that I did there. Oh yeah, ha! Okay. <laughs> I've only had these radio controls for about a week, and I hope I have the right one here. That button turns the lights on and off. This one. I don't have any track. I just reversed it. Oh, oh, open the door for you. Yeah. I guess I could put it down on a carpet and run it around. That's a whole radio control system. All I have is a small pickaxe type board that's doing PWM for the motor. Cool. And I can turn you off. Okay. And I also have a speedometer that I didn't bring because I've shown that many times before. Uh, also a wireless speedometer, a bunch of uh, oh, trolley controllers and things like that I've built over the years. One of the things that's cool about the wireless speedometer is it <coughs> transmits the speed as the train's running. But if you're running battery, it can also transmit back the voltage of the batteries and how much current the engine's drawing. So you can kind of keep an eye on it that way. Reverse controller. Oh, originally that's my incline. I built that for that. I'm skipping over some of this stuff because of time. And questions? I skipped to the end. The presentation is on, it's actually it's on there right now, DaveBodner.com or TrainElectronics.com. I have some cards up here someplace if you can't remember the website. I didn't want to print stuff because I don't like to do that and give it to people and they're going to throw it away anyway. Uh, if you have any questions, I would be happy to talk to you. I'll be over at the large scale booth for a couple hours until I fall asleep. Thank you.